In this demonstration we're going to have a look at the admin tools used for Exchange Server 2013. So the first thing we'll have a look at here is actually the new Exchange Admin Center. So in order to do that, first thing I need to do is just launch a web browser. So all I'll do is I'll just come down to my start menu. And what we'll do from here is we'll just go to Internet Explorer. And the next thing to do here is just type in the URL to allow me to manage my Exchange Server. So there's the URL, so all we've done here is put in the name of the exchange server forward slash ECP, hit the enter key, and what it'll do now is it'll take me off and ask me to log in. Right, so we'll log in as a date and backslash administrator. Stick in our password, and we'll sign in. We'll just go with the default settings of United States and Pacific Time. And now we're in sort of things that we can manage here. So we've got recipients. So what we can do here is manage mailboxes, groups, resource mailboxes, contacts, shared mailboxes, mailbox migrations and moves. Under the permissions tab, we have the ability to manage administrator roles, user roles and Outlook web app policies. Under compliance management, what we use this for is managing in-place e-discovery, in-place hold, auditing, data loss prevention, retention policies, retention tags and journaling. The organisation tab allows me to manage related or exchange organisation including federated sharing, outlook apps and address lists. Under the protection button, this is the bit that allows me to manage the built-in and e malware functionality. Mail flow settings. This allows me to manage rules, delivery reports, accept domains and email address policies, also a send and receive connectors. The mobile tab allows me to manage my mobile devices. Public folders allows me to manage my public folders. So unlike uh, previous editions where we had to go into a separate Microsoft management console, we can now do this through the web interface. What we also have as well is unified messaging. So it allows me to manage my unified messaging dial plans and the IP gateways. The servers tab allows me to manage my mailbox and client access servers, DAGs, virtual directories and certificates, and the hybrid setting allows me to manage my hybrid setup and configuration for connecting through to Office 365. So just as part of the demo, let's just create a new mailbox user. So all we'll do here is we'll select our mailboxes, select our plus button, and we'll go for user mailbox. And what we'll do here is we'll just stick in for our alias, We'll stick in the name of the user and we'll type in Aiden D. He's an existing user, so we'll click our browse button. And what we'll do here is we'll just select Aiden, select OK, and then we'll select Save. So what we've now done is mail enable this user, or mailbox enable this user. Right now, if I just come out of here, I can also allow users via the Exchange Control Panel or the Exchange Admin Center to manage their own settings. So we'll just log out as administrator. We'll then just come back into Internet Explorer. Go back to the URL again. Well, this time we log in as a completely different user. We'll log in as Aiden. Right, so login is Aiden. Again, we'll just go with the defaults for United States and Pacific Time. But now what we can see, logged in is Aiden, who is not an administrator. He only has the ability to look after himself. So what he can do here is he can manage his account settings. Under organize email, he's got the ability to create his inbox rules. If we had distribution groups set up, he could add himself to the distribution groups, or we could add him as an administrator. We have the site mailboxes, and site mailboxes are just mailboxes that let teams share and save information. Under his settings tab, he can manage his mail, calendar, regional settings, change his password. He has the ability to manage his mobile devices. He's got his blocker allow to blocker allow recipients. And then under the apps at this point here, we could have a look at any apps for Outlook to let him do multiple tasks within his organization. So as we can see down here, we've got Bing Maps, for example. So what we'll do now is we'll just come out of um, the Exchange Control Panel for Aiden. And another way that we can manage Exchange Server 2013 is through the command line. So to do that, we need to launch a PowerShell. Once we get into PowerShell, we then have the ability to come in here and just start uh, administering some Exchange commands. 
So the way we'd actually do that, if I just close down PowerShell, we actually have our Exchange Management shell. So I just come to my Start button here, and what we'll do here is just have a look through for the Exchange, and we'll go for our Exchange Management shell. Still launches up PowerShell, it just gives us some additional commandlets. So now we're in here, let's just clear the screen, just make it a little bit easier to read. And the first thing we'll do here is we'll just get hyphen command. Now if you're not sure of the full command, if you hit the tab key, it will fill it in for you. And then we'll just do um, some commandlets against the mailbox. So if we do star mailbox, and then star again, and just hit return, as we can see it shows us everything to do with the mailbox. So we'll just clear the settings again. That's the next little exchange management shell we'll do here is just to get some information regarding our user Aiden. So we'll do a get hyphen mailbox Aiden. What we've done is we've done a query and now we'll pipe that, we'll format the list and we want to have a look at alias and any quota settings he has. So we hit enter here, we can see that everything near enough is set to unlimited. His rules quota is 64 kilobytes. So we'll clear the screen again. That's the next thing we'll do here is we're going to enable a mail contact that we already have. The identity is John Woods. We want to create an alias of Woods and we want to make his external email address equal to woods at datum.com. So as we can see now, we've now mail enabled this mail contact. So what we'll do is just clear the screen again. Right, next little command that we'll just issue here is we just want to get some mailbox statistics regarding server lon-ex1. So what I'll do hit enter here and what we can see here is we can see all of the mailboxes and we can see information relating to those mailboxes as well. So I quite like this one, the last logon time. I can use this to figure out whether or not a mailbox has become stale and it's not being used anymore. Another nice little useful commandlet here is the get hyphen recipient, recipient type user mailbox. So if we hit enter here, we can see that we have administrator and Aidan Delaney. So quite useful for producing some documentation and some reports. And the last little one we'll do here is we'll just create a new mailbox database and we'll create that on lon ex1. So we'll hit enter here. And what it'll do now is it'll go away and create our mailbox database. And that's the end of this very quick demonstration of having a look at the Exchange Admin Center, Exchange Control Panel for the end user, and also the Exchange Management Shell. Now, really, the only way to learn these products is to play with them. And that's the end of this demonstration. Thanks very much.